this is one of my highly requested videos chicken and dumplings if you love chicken and dumplings then you have come to the right channel I have a delicious recipe that you cannot resist here are some of the ingredients that I'll be using to create this dish this meal is inexpensive quick easy and delicious let's get started first I'm going to start off by combining all of my seasonings in one bowl then I'm going to give them a quick mix and set them to the side. I have oregano, chicken bouillon, cumin, onion powder, creole seasoning, black pepper, and salt. With three bay leaves. In a large pot of boiling water, add in your cleaned chicken. I'm dropping in chicken thighs and drumsticks, and I'm gonna let them boil for about 20 minutes. After the meat has boiled for about 20 minutes, you're gonna drop in your bay leaves and your blended seasonings. You're gonna give these seasonings a quick mix to make sure they get distributed throughout your pot. Next, you're gonna add your celery and carrots and let them cook for about 10 minutes. Excuse the steam on my camera, but it's already been 10 minutes and now I'm gonna use my measuring cup to remove some of the broth from the chicken. And I believe this is about two cups of broth, but I'm gonna be using this liquid to create my dumplings. In this large bowl, I have about four cups of flour, and I'm gonna gradually pour this broth in this bowl and mix this flour around until it forms dough. Keep in mind that I'm pouring the broth while it's hot, and I'm gonna mix it around with my flour. Now, four cups of flour is a lot of dough. So if you're making chicken and dumplings for about two people, you might wanna use about two cups of flour and maybe a cup and a half of broth. Just because you have a cup and a half does not mean you're gonna use all of the broth. If making homemade dumplings is complicated, you can always use biscuits to make your dough. It's quick, easy, and hey, have at it. And when you're forming your dough, you're gonna add flour as needed. You don't want your dough too sticky, you just want your dough just right. On my work surface, I'm gonna sprinkle down some flour to prevent my dough from sticking to the surface. And then I'm gonna to continue to form my dough until it's well combined. Now that I've finished kneading my dough, I'm going to add some additional flour to the work surface. And then I'm going to roll my dough out until it's flat.
Now that my dough is flat enough, I'm going to use my knife to section out my dough. As you see here, I'm taking a section of my dough to form my dumpling. It does not have to be perfect when you shape it. You can shape it however you want to. It's going to cook regardless. And I'm adding flour on both sides of my dumplings so they won't stick together. Here are a few of my dumplings that you can look at. They're square. They're not even, but they're still dumplings. I have a lot of dumplings to shape, so I'll be back once I finish all these dumplings. So here's my finished product of creating my dumplings. I shaped these dumplings two different ways. We're back at the pot, so let's start dropping in our dumplings. And be careful not to splash the broth on yourself. When you're dropping your dumplings in the pot, make sure that you spread them around so they won't stick to one another. And please do not stir your dumplings because then they'll start breaking apart. Just let them cook. Now I wanna let these dumplings cook until they start floating. So once they start floating, then I'll know they're done. While the dumplings are cooking, add in your cream of mushroom. This will help make your broth thick and creamy. Here you can take a good look at the chicken and dumplings after we've poured in the cream of mushrooms. You can see how it's creamy and thick. Y'all just look at these dumplings. This bowl looks delicious. In my bowl, I have a whole drumstick. That's only because I wanna see my meat when I'm eating my chicken and dumplings. But if you wanna shred your meat while it's cooking in the pot with the rest of the dumplings, feel free, these are your chicken and dumplings. Do whatever you prefer. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts wait, wait wait let's be more realistic just share my channel with at least one or two people bye